Warning. The following story contains graphic depiction of item loss. Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! My name is Twitchy and we are playing on my public server where today I should be showing you the full power of my collection corridor. Yes indeed, today I should have been coming through to my cartographer friend over here in bed and go, look at me, I have managed to get the glow pan, the thing that I set out to do. Unfortunately, you might notice that I have no items in my inventory right now, and that means I died. Not just any death. Oh, no, no, no. It is the most grisly of deaths that you can imagine in Minecraft. In between episodes, I thought that I would uh, go ahead and do a little bit of pre-work in between the episodes, try and find a bastion in the nether for us to go and explore and find the snout banner pattern. As it's one of the items I need for my corridor of collections. Whilst flying around in the nether, I unfortunately found myself in quite a small situation, used my rockets to try and boost out of that tight pocket of cave that I had found, and unfortunately flew into the wall a little bit too hard, died, fell in the lava, lost all my stuff. I was uh, good times, good times. I definitely had a very good time at that point in time and definitely didn't leave the game for two days to only come back right now. But of course, one of the things about spawning out at a project Sometimes you just don't have any stuff on you and that means trying to get home is quite difficult now on this server We do have a warp system. Uh, it's one that you have to set up I do indeed have a warp for my home, but that that's That's not the fun way of going about this journey home is it? I see some water down there Do you guys see some water down there? I think I'm gonna try and aim for landing in that I have considered this uh, this situation whilst building this perimeter for the witch farm. Uh, there's a little tractor beam right there, or uh, I'm sure most of us will call it a column of water. But of course, there's only really one way of getting over there, and that is, of course, to try and land in some water. All right, beautiful. I, I didn't know whether I was actually going to make that. I thought I might die if I was to be honest with you. And to add insult to injury, whilst I was sat there contemplating my death in the lava, I uh, also noticed that the control key on my keyboard died. You know, the sprint key. It's quite an important key to just up and die on you. Incidentally, we have a kind of accidental glow squid farm under here. Turns out these guys just... just spawn and die. Thankfully, the portal to the witch farm is well connected to the entire network in the nether that we have of rails, so getting my way back home is of course no problem whatsoever. It is quite a long walk back home though. Uh, Halloweenies, by the way. Simply the fact that I have walked back probably means we need to give this whole rail network a bit of an overhaul. There is no way that I should have needed to not take a minecart. One thing that I'm very happy about is when I installed this elevator right here, I thought about the fact that sometimes people would be walking and not have the ability to move up and down of their own accord. So I made this button work both up and down the system, so that is solid. I um, am not here to get my new tools though, that's, that's not what we're here for. I am making a YouTube video and I fancy myself as, you know, quite good at this game. And so really, there's only a couple of things that I am here for. I'm going to look in this barrel and grab some steak, and then I'm going to look in my ender chest and grab an ender chest. And I think we're going to uh, just just be happy with that. No, 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 I, I lied. I've picked up enough for an iron pickaxe as well. Yes, you, you heard me. Iron. So I'm going to take advantage of something that we don't normally take a great deal of advantage of. There are a lot of... What what happened to the filter here? Did the, did the gold filter break? Well, anyway, there are a lot of swords here that I am going to put together and make into some offensive weaponry. Because, you know, we don't make enough use of these. And so with five golden swords in hand and a small arrow in my foot, I'm going off on a nether... on an end adventure. Not a nether adventure, an end adventure. Because there are end cities around in, out here and the, most of the world has been reset recently. Oh, am I about to plummet forever into the end? Oh, this might be a, this might be a problem. Do I put all my stuff down? I picked up all of my ender chests. Let's not do that. Let, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a smarts here and see if we can't... 
travel through and not die. Spare shulker box, doesn't, doesn't matter what, what, what's in there, let's just spare shulker box this, because if I fall through and I'm instantly dead, then I I don't want to lose all my stuff, because um, where we have reset the end chunks occasionally, every update, would you believe, there could be a non-zero probability of when I go through this that I end up falling into the void. It's happened into the past, but no, no, it looks like we're good today. Okay, that, that kind of hurt, that kind of hurt. There's also an ender chest here, beautiful. I didn't. I took took one out, but then put it into my shulker box. Oh, I'm a smart boy. Okay, one thing that I need, but really do not want to spend my sword durability on, is some ender pearls. So, oh, ah, we're a little bit close for me to do that. Uh, I've left a three deep gap here for me to stand in, so I can try and crit. But it turns out that's not the winner. Let's let's go back here. Uh, I'm mostly interested in not letting him teleport in here with me, as I'm sure you can imagine okay what's the chances of us getting an ender pearl it's pretty low it's pretty low ah ender pearl first try beautiful and why do i want an ender pearl well obviously it's just to help me like make my way around the end where, where else would i be going of course Okay, so I spent about a steak's worth of saturation beating up Enderman uh, with, with my well-roasted meat here. Uh, and I've managed to get myself four Ender Pearls. This is pretty good. I'm not sure if I need to... Ah, oh, look at this. I, I was kind of hoping to go over that way. Uh, go, go over to there and Ender Pearl across, but it doesn't look like that's actually attached. So I'm going to have to bridge out again. Okay, no problem. Uh, luckily, I do have a whole bunch of Endstone here. Okay, is that good? Don't, don't smack me into the side of it. That, oh, that would have been terrible, could you imagine? <laughs> Pre predicting here that I am going to have a void death of some type. <laughs> there are flying machines you can build with slimestone, obviously, and armor stands with frost walker boots on and waterlogged stairs to create giant ice highways through the end. I'm very tempted to build one of those at some point. It's, it'd probably be a lot nicer than just trying to walk around on foot and find I mean anything right just just anything <laughs> I bet if you just keep along the z-axis or something like that you would find some crazy stuff uh, I mean you, you must run into some end cities just just by going far enough right what I should have done, and this is so obvious that I'm really, really like in pain that I haven't done it, was bring a whole bunch of cobble or wood or something from my, my stores at home. That that would have been much better than trying to break end stone with an iron pickaxe. So, I mean, I suppose these random, random restrictions on these challenges that you impose upon yourself are kind of what Minecraft is all about, right? Would you believe ender pearls are a better way to travel than blocks at the moment? Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Because I can get I can get as many ender pearls as I want from the Enderman just at the cost of stake, no problem. But my my iron pickaxe started to wear through now. I've only got 50 uses left on it. I don't even know if end stone counts as one or two uses. One one use, okay. <laughs> I found a portal back home before I found an end city. Woo. <laughs> and another one. Okay. I guess I'll just follow the trail of stuff. Well, I don't mind telling you, this is mildly terrifying. Look at this place. This... Ah, oh, I... I but I find myself at a bit of a dilemma. I have run out of blocks. I'm not close enough to throw an ender pearl. My iron pickaxe only has nine uses back on it. Indeed, I've only made it halfway from that portal to this second portal that I saw. But I have a plan. I have a way to get around this. I am an end game character and I carry an ender chest with me. In here, there is a whole a bunch of stuff that I have access to, but there's two that I'm particularly interested in. My redstone box and my slime box. I can't pick this up. I've just realised that I need, to, I need silk touch to be able to pick this back up. Okay, alright, that's fine. That's fine. I lost both my silk touches in the lava, so there's all I have is fortune. All I'd get would be ah a bunch of bunch of obsidian. Okay, well the stakes have been raised. I am gonna carry two shulker boxes on me.
based mostly on Il Mango's toggleable start again, stop again, a two-way, uh, no, single-way flying machine. I have built this thing mostly from memory. I saw, I saw the tutorial. Oh, months ago, months ago. Let's try going over here and seeing how it works. Uh, we have a basic flying machine going on for us at the back there. Uh, and then this uh, cart that I am riding upon, let's get past this Enderman, uh, will go across and power the piston, stopping or jamming the flying machine. Uh, and then I go across this uh, end stone block here, very nicely keeping me on the rails. Uh, we had great trouble staying on the rails uh, on the test program because of course you know I tested this out in the test world there's no way that I was gonna let myself go flying over the void like this in an untested craft now the real question of course is how long are we gonna have to travel until we see something oh no I've got an angry boy I don't know if this is a uh, is this is this a problem is this a, do I need to stop and take care of this is he gonna teleport to me and then cause some troubles uh, I mean, maybe. We'll, we'll see if we have to stop and knock him off the side. I'm hoping he can't teleport, because most of the time we're at block 36. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> How do I switch out of this? Uh, oh, no! You fool, you Enderman. You killed us both. Well, I'm back at the village. <laughs> Frustrating? I don't see anything frustrating about this particular situation. Obviously, I only did that for the content. I mean, what what type of Minecraft player do you think I am? And after all, if it wasn't for me, who would even use all these gold swords that are laying around? And of course, one of the things I love most about survival Minecraft is the unexpected challenges that can happen along the way. And of course, redstone flying machines are the highest form of redstone, so it is wonderful to have the opportunity, nay, the honour, to be able to build another one. Okay, are we ready to... we are ready to roll. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna, gonna watch us in replay rather than watching us via the F5 menu, because this, this leads... this leads to troubles. Flying over inhabited islands is terrifying. I have to just look away and hope that my craft can get past it safely. Okay, let's do a quick bit of longevity testing. I believe I'm over some blocks at the moment, so if I swing my way out, jump out, stand on top of the observer, seems like a good idea. I'm going to disconnect. And the reconnection puts me exactly where I expect to be. Oh, beautiful. So it doesn't look like it has a ship, but this is not the end of the world. I'm not actually here for just the elytra. I am here for everything this place has to offer, so I'm not that worried about it. It would have been nice to have scored one on the first hit. I think we're going to pull over here and sacrifice a an, an ender, ender chest. Where's my ender chest? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there should be one in here, but that was really not my plan. Okay, I'm going to get some cod in hand. I, I was going to take an invisibility potion and be all, like, stealthy and stuff. Uh, now I'm just going to have to try and, like, break my way in and hope that we can fight as few of these as possible. Uh, maybe look, just... Oh, that's not what I want to put up. Maybe cover this up a little bit and not worry about it too much. Okay, that, that's a good start. This is a good start. Uh, where are we going to find treasure rooms? They're going to be... Uh, up high. I'm hoping actually I'm gonna find an ender chest somewhere. Not here, unfortunately. Okay, well that that is the way. Time to make our way up these stairs. Okay, we come to our first decision. Who's firing at me? Okay, from up top, let's come down. I don't have a shield, which is probably my first major mistake. I'm also wondering and uh, got it. Alright, great. Did you know you could hit those? I didn't for the longest time know that that was a thing. I'm not that bothered to be honest. I think I've, I'm in quite an enclosed space, so let's take advantage. I'm a little bit worried about the actual raw damage they can put out. Uh, speaking of, let's get some food going. Okay, let's kill this guy as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the assault is going okay, if I'm to be honest with you. It's going okay. Oh, there's another one out the front. We need to deal with that. The uh, not having enough hearts to continue the fight really does just creep up on you. I'm just going to kind of hide up here for a little bit. Hopefully we can keep away. I'm just going to carry on moving. Uh, there's no need to get involved in the fight. Let's keep moving. Oh, yeah, this place. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm actually in trouble. Uh, let's eat a chorus fruit. Let, let's. Oh no! Again, I I don't see anything frustrating about this system at all. No, no, no. Are you ready for crazy plan number three? I'm crazy, ready for crazy plan number three. I'm crazy, yeah, I'm crazy for cra crazy plan number three. And our friend Christopher Frost Walking up there is gonna also be ready for this. He has a, a, an armor stand with Frost Walker on his boots. We've got a couple of waterlogged stairs. This mostly based on a design by Rooftop Joe. I did add like these end stone blocks around just to make it a spillless system. He had put a few blocks in to help contain the water anyway, and I'd noticed we had a few left on the push limit. So all we need to do to let this go, this is probably going to get very noisy, is update this observer, uh, this piston here. Uh, I am terrified. This machine is going to need a lot more babysitting than the other one we were riding. We could start and stop that one with no penalty. This one, if it jams up, there is going to be quite the a rebuild that we need to do for this you can see it's based off a bud system at the top there and that that's just always trouble when it goes wrong i think even if i broke these two uh, slime blocks left and right it would just carry on forwards with its own little bud at the top there it, yeah it would be it would be horrific but Look at this bridge. Isn't it amazing? Let's talk a little bit about frosted ice. It's a weird substance that comes from the Frostwalker enchantment. Uh, the stairs up the front there are being pushed, and because they're being single tick pushed, they manage to take the water with them. If you just move them with normal pistons, it wouldn't work. But the stairs are then spreading to each other to make this single water source in the middle, uh, and Christopher Frost walking up there with his little Frostwalker boots on is freezing the stuff in the middle. Now, th this stuff gets randomly ticked by the player, the same way, like, crops grow and normal ice melts uh, and when that happens it does a little check for the local light level let's see we can't we can't even see it at the moment because this is a non-spawnable space anyway but you can see everywhere in the end is mostly zero so it's not a problem uh, it, this check checks against that and if the age of the ice is less than the 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 light level it will melt and then take all the ones next to it with it because th this is a horrible system but as long as this stays at light level zero it can never be below light level zero i think it would actually be safe up to light level four or something like that so if you wanted to like keep your friends trapped underneath some frosted ice like, you got you just got to make sure it's dark this this is this is really terrifying <laughs> Okay, our first major obstacle is a small hill on this island up ahead that I have zero ways of getting ahead of the flying machine here. So we just have to wait for the island to appear underneath me and be uh, close enough for me to be able to jump down on. I really hope we don't stick up. The, the, the rebuild that will be necessary if this gets stuck on the bottom will be quite extensive. Uh, things will jam up in a way that's very difficult to fix, including getting rid of the water. So here go oh no no, no. We, we've jammed I, I took too long ah look at it all the waters disappear oh we, we, we managed to keep one and like i say i don't know how we would even stop the oh stop <laughs> stop this <laughs> uh, there, there's christopher frost walking wonderful uh okay no worries <laughs> Okay, rebuild undertaken, warning sign placed, small little ender station over here. I should take this crafting bench with me, it's the only one I actually have right now. Uh, I think we are ready to roll. You can see that I've kind of dug all the way down until we get to another bunch of islands over there. I think those are the ones where we actually have an end city to watch. So let's, uh, let, let's go and watch this guy roll. So the ice bridge machine has uh, met the on-offable flying machine. This means this is where the line stops for now. I do have plans to continue actually in that direction because I found out how these sp cities spawn and uh, it turns out it's quite a predictable pattern. Now, my plan originally was to use a bunch of scaffold to take my uh, bring my way all the way up there i think what i'm going to do instead is use all this end stone that i've dug up making sure the ice bridge could go through the other thing i want to do is uh, put down an end chest all the way over here away from the ice bridge so that we don't end up melting it 
Because in my potion box, I have some invisibility potions. The, the, these were what I was supposed to have last time. Hopefully, it will make it all better this time. Let's let's just go up and try it. Let's go. You know what? I'm also going to put on these leather boots. I was going to use leather boots for the armor stand, but then whilst getting the the levels to do so from turning the soul speed boots from the piglins. Oh no. 